haciendo, señorita? Don't try to escape. I'll be forced to kill you very gently. Charming. Yes, sir, I'm human being. Señor! No! Me rayo! Senor! Do you not realize we have the one and only Charlie Crane in our custody? Senor. We're supposed to be incognito, Salvador, and that radio. Very cognito! Senor. Yes, boss. Some place, isn't it, Crane? Yes, it is, boss. However, may I suggest something? Here we go. It's un poquitico gloomy, senor. Okay. Perhaps maybe a tiki torch lighten things up. I'm sorry Add about some this. some warmth, a touch of exotic, nothing uh, like a good tiki Shut that hole in your face, Salvador! Now, let's make this very, very simple, Crane. You're going to tell us everything you know. I know nothing. That's poppycock, madam! We know you and the architect. Best of friends, thick as thieves. Like bangers and mash, peanut butter and jelly, mac and cheese. Belly dancing and mi abuelita. Don't ever say that again, Salvador. Ah, uh, better, senor, if it helps you, no. My abuelita has a tremendous receipt. No, Salvador, that doesn't help at all. That does not help. Let me help you both by cutting to the chase. The architect hasn't talked to me in weeks. Oh, the architect hasn't talked to me in weeks. I'm all tied up on the fence. The architect hasn't talked to me. You me. <laughs> well, I've got something to cheer you up. Perhaps seeing an old friend will put a pep in your step. Get up, you! That's right. Give us the uh, combination to the vault, Crane. Go ahead with it. Combination? What? What combination? Combination to the vault that contains the blueprint. The blueprint of tomorrow? The blueprint that whoever holds it, holds the key to the future. A future where I'm a respected actor again. Where my father still loves me even though I became an actor. That blueprint, you don't remember that blueprint? If you don't give me the combination, your friend JW over there is gonna turn into J and W. Roller coaster, no more JW. Guys, I promise you, I don't know anything. Come with the combination, Crane. I, I don't know the combination. The combination, Miss Crane! <laughs> oh no, what is that? Uh, it looks like a bundle of dynamite. Quick, oh. oh. get out! Uh. <laughs> You're gonna have to do better than that, Crane! <laughs> oh. uh, there was a man on the tracks. Of course there's a man on the tracks, Salvador! No, senor, a second man! Another one of your friends, Crane? Uh. Jimmy, you jump! Uh. No! You missed, Salvador! But, boss, I tried my best. Oh, well, Miss Green, uh, looks like you're gonna have to get pretty comfortable because you're gonna be with us for some time. Uh. Unless, of course, you wind up in the next 15 seconds having dynamite shoved down your pants. I don't even know who you are. Take it, There you are, gents. Oh, Enjoy. <laughs> talk about your rump roast. Talk about flying by the seat of your pants. Yeah, talk about uh, dynamite in your trousers. Am I right? <laughs> Anyhow, you got us out of a real pinch, friend. Thanks for the help. Yeah, thanks, Dad. Now, what do you say we get... Did you just call him Dad? There's more of them every day. <sighs> it, is that how I think it is? Oh, Fitz, uh, you knucklehead. You should have known better. Let's be honest, self-control is never Fitz's strong suit. We've got to rescue him somehow. I don't know if that's going to be possible, kiddo. He's one of them now. And what are they? What exactly did they do? And more importantly, sir, who are you? Let's just take it a little at a time, yeah? They're called drones. 
And they're controlled by the goggles. Now, I've seen a lot of them because I've been on this rock for a while. I managed to escape and lay low, but so many of these folks haven't been as lucky. The projectionist lures them in with the promise of fun, and then he turns them into workers. Workers? What are they working at? Well, at first they were digging. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's holes all over the island. If you're not careful, you might fall into one. Yeah, trust us. We speak from experience. Imagine my luck falling into a hole with a man who turned out to be my own dad. Yes. Imagine. Pardon my asking, but with the memory side and all, how is it you two remembered you were father and daughter? I could never forget my daughter's face. Hmm. Touching. Touching. Don't get sentimental on us, Dad. Anyway, we tracked the drones together until one night they found something. The vault? The, the vault. vault. Now that they dug that up, they're looking for somebody to unlock it. Reddington thought I had the combination, which is why he tried to turn you into deli meat. Sorry about that. Eh, all part of the fun. Funny thing is, the architect never even mentioned a vault. Nothing about the blueprints or how it predicts the future? Nothing. Lucky I found Dad, or I don't know what I'd do. Well, seems introductions are in order. J.W. McCall. Atticus Crane. Charlie's old man. <laughs> What are the odds? You know, I'd love to spend more time getting to know you, but there's trouble coming. We could use more dynamite. Lead the way, Atticus. Uh, you two get a head start. I'll stay and keep watch. Be careful, Charlie. And Mr. McCaw, try to keep up. I'll try not to take that personally. Not sure what you're implying. Architect, come in. Are you there? I'm running out of patience. It's been weeks, and I still don't even know what you want me to do. You told me to trust the plan, but how can I trust a plan I don't even know? So talk to me, will ya? Or I'll just make it my own plan, I guess. Thanks for the chat. Thanks for nothing. I think the architect's trying to lead us somewhere. Keep up the pace. I wouldn't take too long a stride, boy. Uh, I wouldn't take too long a stride, boy. You never know what kind of trouble is looking at these shadows. Oh, I think I know someone who might. Well, Violet, go ahead, start talking. What do you know? About what? About what? That's adorable. Gee whiz, how about your best friend, the projectionist? He's not my friend. Good point. You don't have any friends. Oh, my God. All right, Claude. I know that you don't like me very much, but... Understatement of the decade, sister. I would rather take a nap under a Tyrannosaur with diarrhea. Big feet, sharp deep little hands. Get it? Yeah, I get it, Claude. You really know how to make a girl feel welcome. Perhaps I'm not being clear. I don't like you. I get it. Shh. Guys, keep it down. We don't want any surprises. Sneed? <laughs> Charlie? 